subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. Not just what you saw in red in the title of the video are we going to discuss. We're going to be multi we're going to be discussing multiple news, rumors, headlines, gossip and speculation during this entire video like I do every video here on Show and View. Yeah, first the title of the video might read New World Champion and then you click the video and we will discuss a New World Champion, but we're also going to talk about a variety of other news, rumors and headlines in this video. That's what we do every single video that we have here. We give you in-depth, we give you detail, we expose it all, we leak it all from the WWE, whether it be behind the scenes, whether it be backstage, whether it be in the ring, whether it be on the way to the ring, whether it be in the camera, whether it be out of the camera. This is Sean View Entertainment and this is promising to be one hell of a December. Now remember to be Become a channel member today for as low as a dollar, two dollars, or three dollars a month, or send a super thanks donation in the comment section below to show your appreciation for the brash and the brazen. But right off the bat, before we get into the dazzling, the shocking, the prevailing, the monstrous news and rumors that I have for you in this very episode, remember to like the video, share this video to Facebook and Twitter and X, and tell your friends, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, tell your family, tell everyone you know. Spread it like wildfire. The brash and the brazen is here for each and every one of you. Because I show true, and I show up with the lights on bright. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to thank you for the monumental November to remember that we had. It was a great November. It was an awesome November. And thanks to you, Sean View is on the path, is onward up. We're going up in the world to almost 140,000 subscribers. And I have you to thank for that at the end of the day. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get into what you've come here for. All the WWE talk, all the news, all the rumors, and all the headlines. Ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know, breaking news on John Cena. A first look at John Cena's Peacemaker in Mortal Kombat 1. John Cena's first ever ap appearance in Mortal Kombat in the Peacemaker. Also, ladies and gentlemen, there's breaking news on two AEW stars coming to the WWE because according to those in the know, AEW made an unexpected swap for the Young Bucks match. A major is the Young Bucks coming to NXT. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news as it concerns CM Punk controversy. Booker T is addressing controversy over his comments on CM Punk return promo. You know, Booker T had a lot to say. He addressed CM Punk. He went on a rant. He went on a promo about CM Punk. You got to wonder what's going to happen. I said his return promo in AEW wasn't the best promo I ever saw. It could have been a lot more substance to it. And a lot of people have given me backlash because I said that because I didn't say it was the greatest promo in the world. Booker began, it was a pipe bomb. And this promo on Monday night, it was more hot felt promo. That's what I think. At points in time, CM Punk got caught in the moment a little bit. And he almost got choked up a little bit on Raw. I know this. But when you leave the company and come back, you wonder how the fans are going to treat you. You wonder if they're going to boo you out of the building. You just don't know. For CM Punk, the way he felt, very polarizing. And then to come back. Even in Chicago, he might have had that feeling, wondering how is it going to be. So so everyone's saying that CM Punk's run and his promos as etiquette is going to be better in WWE than it was in AEW. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, we got breaking news on Randy Orton. Significant updates on the Viper Randy Orton. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Sapp is noting behind Fightful's paywall exclusively that WWE is pretty confident that Randy Orton will ink a new deal when his current one expires. That being said, it wasn't noted if he has signed that new contract. However, ladies and gentlemen, Orb Orton publicly teased a free agency for the first time in 2019 before signing a new five-year contract with the WWE at a time when the company mass signed a ton of talent to long-term deals. The feeling, however, is that Randy Orton will retire within the next five to ten years. In regards to Randy Orton's contractual status, it was initially set to extend until at least the fall of 2024, leaving him with approximately a year remaining on his deal. However, following his absence from WWE nearly 18 months ago, sources within the company have suggested that the potential addition of injury time to Orton's contract, which could possibly keep him with WWE until 2026. So again, guys, there's a lot of rumors and speculation that Randy Orton could, could retire in the next couple of years, the next three years, the next five, or Randy Orton could, re could retire as soon as 10 years. 
Well, that's not as soon. That's that's way off into the future. And, you know, when Randy Orton says he's going to be with the WWE another five to ten years, he's not talking about a as a wrestler all the time, every time. He's also talking about as a coach, a general manager, you know, being backstage, helping out the young talent of the world, maybe being a commentator. So, yes, Randy Orton will be in WWE for the next ten years, but not as a wrestler. But expect Randy Orton as a wrestler for the next two to three years for sure. So Randy Orton's probably got another, I'd say Randy Orton's got another good four years ahead of him in the ring in the WWE. Now, massive announcement by the game Triple H. We got major announcements as it concerns the game Triple H. Initially, there was rumors and speculation that Randy Orton was going to be fined or suspended or fired after giving an RKO to the SmackDown general manager. And everyone said, Sean, you're a liar. You're a clickbaiter. You're a click artist. You don't know what you're saying. You don't know what you're doing. Just because you said that CM Punk was going to come back doesn't mean we're going to believe you now. Well, that's fine. Don't believe me. We talk about rumors, news, and speculation. Whether it happens or not, I don't know. All I know is that I also talk about things that are confirmed. And I can confirm that Adam Pierce, the SmackDown general manager, went on social media and said that Randy Orton is going to be fined because he told Randy Orton to open up his checkbook. However, there's rumors and speculation that Randy Orton, due to Triple H and due to this monumental announcement by the game, he won't be fired and he won't be suspended. But Randy Orton will indeed be fined for his actions and for what he did. And uh, don't mistake this, that Randy Orton is not going to go unscathed there. Also, we got breaking news on the first Raw of 2024. We got breaking, astonishing news on the first Raw of 2024. Because, ladies and gentlemen, viewers, fans, and subscribers, according to those in the know, there are, WrestleTix are reporting that there are 763 available tickets for the event with the current setup accommodating 9,144. WWE Monday Night Raw is scheduled to take place on Monday, January 1st, 2024 at the Peak Change Arena in San Diego, California. That will mark a New Year's Day episode for the red brand. And on that brand, that is expected to have a big storyline. And the booking is going to be very creative on the first Raw of 2024. Show and viewers never an eyesore. We bring you up to speed, up to date, hourly on the latest, the greatest, the hottest, the, the most in depth, the most complete WWE news and rumors right here because we make it sweet. More to come. Subscribe. Click the bell. Show and view is here for each and every one of you. Later.